retro design. Quartz movement. Chronograph. Two hundred meters of water resistance. Let's talk Bolivar. Surfboard chronograph. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go. Go, 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 go. 40.5 millimeters brushed and polished stainless steel case with steel pushers and a 5.7 millimeter signed surfboard design crown. 20 millimeter lug, 46.6 millimeter lug to lug. A shorter lug distance, making this one a beautiful wear true to that 40 millimeter size. 14.5 millimeter thickness, 106 grams, full kit out of the box. Designed with a sapphire crystal with bi-directional two-tone blue and red bezel design. The bezel, rather than the normal elapsed time numbering around the dial, it's reverse counting down, a unique design to this watch. It has a smooth rotation in either direction and great loom at the pip, the primary indicator position. Finished off with a screw down case back for great protection with that 200 meters of water resistance. This really is next level feature for a watch with a chronograph complication. Not a lot of timepieces have that for this complication. Nice touch, Bulova. This is a beautiful blue dial and a lot going on, including the obvious surfboard design going through the center, occupying a good portion of this dial east to west with sub registers inside at the three and the nine position. A 60 minute mount monitoring capability at the nine position and your running seconds is at the three o'clock position. Simple but functional. With Bulova signed under the 12, the matte blue dial sits under the applied silver markers with hands, both of which are lined with center luminous materials for low light visibility. And depending which light source you have and what angle you're at, this blue dial can appear much darker, even black in some cases. We also have loom in the pip primary indicator position of the bezel. We have a red retro sub-register hands with two-tone white and red hour and minute hands and a solid red large chronograph seconds hand, easy to distinguish. Finishing off the dial is the outer ring tachometer which is used for speed measuring. Now the movement for this surfboard chronograph is the Miyota Caliber 6S21 quartz movement. It's meant for a date complication, so don't be alarmed, as I've mentioned in my video short regarding this watch, that it has a ghost crown first position, usually meant for the date wheel adjustment, but there isn't one. I also need to apologize for my incorrect description in that shorts video. I believe I referred to the movement as the Salida 6S21 rather than Miyota. My bad, I'm human, it's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. That's a Taylor reference. Now pulling the crown out to the second position will allow you to adjust not only the time as well as act as a reset for the chronograph hand should it become misaligned. I did that in that shorts video as well. Now the strap, a blue silicone rubber strap, which is quite soft and comfortable. It has a woven textured feel with perforated design, which allows for breathability. With a 20 millimeter thickness and a lug tapering from that 20 down to 18 millimeters at the polished sign push button deployant style clasp. Now the cost, we're looking at this bull of a chronograph, an MSRP of $900 Canadian here in Canada. However, thanks to the Bay and Bay Days, we got this thing for 35% off, so it was just over $600 and change. Now I know what you're thinking, $900 for a quartz movement, but you are getting some quality parts and great design with functionality here. This retro design, the sapphire crystal, the chronograph function, water resistance of 200 meters, Bulova's doing all they can to strengthen the argument for this price point with, of course, an attractive and nostalgic design from this vintage release from years ago. Now wrapping up here, the Bulova Surfboard Chronograph. 
a retro design with flair and function. Check your local authorized dealer and or some of your reputable online resources. I'm sure there are deals to be had. The build quality seems great. She wears comfortable on the wrist. She has good function and charming looks. That's my time. Do what you gotta do, like, subscribe if you like the video or the style, and also hit the bell so you get notified when the next video drops. It's that simple. I'm on Instagram as well. You can look me up at your leisure at the Covert Crow right there, no problem. Thanks for coming to the channel. I appreciate all the support. You take care, be well, be safe, and I'll see you on the next one.